Hey guys, Pepperami here. This week we are going to be making some flavoured cooking oil. Now, in this video, I will be making four different oils. Now, first off, I'm personally using my sous vide to make the oils. The benefit from this is you can make several oils at once. You can just set it and forget it. And you don't actually have to sit down and keep an eye on oil on your hob. Now, sous vide kits have come down a lot in price over the past couple of years, so they're not these nice, fancy pieces of equipment that they once used to be. Now, the first oil I'm going to be making is a herb-infused oil. For this, I'm using a few sprigs of fresh rosemary, around five or so fresh bay leaves, and some fresh thyme that I've managed to make a mess all over the countertop with. Now, oil number two is a simple chili and garlic oil. For this, you can use fresh or dry chili. I'm using a good pinch of dry bird's eye chili peppers and around one bulb of fresh garlic cloves. Now, the third oil I'm making is mostly garlic. Now, I've kindly cut out me peeling around six bulbs of garlic for this, and then I've just added in a few of my leftover fresh bay leaves. Now, you can, of course, leave these out and just go for pure garlic oil if you wish. And my fourth and final oil I'm gonna need to wear some gloves, as by now you've probably noticed these rather mean menacing looking peppers on the countertop. Now these are of course Carolina Reaper peppers from this year's harvest, and capsaicin, which is the thing that makes peppers hot, is an oil, so this should infuse well into the cooking oil. Then once again I'm gonna be topping it up with around two bulbs worth of garlic and some more dried bird's eye chili peppers. And for this one, you could also use any other fresh chilies you wish, but any fresh chilies you are going to be cutting up, I highly recommend gloves, especially if you are cutting up something as mean as a Carolina Reaper. Then into each sous vide bag, I'm adding 500 ml of oil. Now, preferably you want to use a neutral cooking oil, but if you really do have some money to burn, you can use olive oil. Then you just want to simply Seal the bags after removing the air. Now you want to set your sous vide to around 88 degrees Celsius or 190 Fahrenheit and place the sealed bags into your sous vide for anywhere between 2 to 12 hours. Now once finished you want to remove them from the bath, let cool, drain and remove any solids that you may have left floating in there, like the garlic or the sprigs of herbs. And then you want to put them either back into the sous vide bag or into a piping bag and let the oil rest a while. This way you'll get the separation from the water from the oil, as the garlic and the herbs and anything else fresh you've used will of course contain water and you want to remove the water from the oil. Now you want to let this sit as the water will sink to the bottom of the bag. Now once the oil has rested and the water is separated, you want to snip the corner off the bottom of the bag and let the water drain out into a separate jug. Then using either a funnel or just simply the bag, you want to fill the bottle with the oils and then rinse and repeat for any other oils you have left over. Now this may seem like a long drawn out process for some flavoured oil, but heating over the stove version, I'm not a fan of just standing in the kitchen for around two hours keeping an eye on near 100 degrees Celsius oil. And who knows, to be fair, in the future I may look into this once I've run out of these oils, as I know it is slightly faster and you don't have to worry about draining the water off because it's going to evaporate off anyway. But anyway, that wraps up this week's video. Now, starting from next week, we should be cooking in the new kitchen, so say farewell to the classic blue countertop as we move to the new flat. Now, as always, if you like what you saw, let me know down below with a like and a comment. If you are indeed new here, feel free to subscribe for free weekly cooking content, and I will see you all again next week. Thanks for watching.